guys so I'm gonna give you a quick tutorial today and it's gonna be about something really simple it's about spinning an object in unity and sometimes when you spin objects you might notice this in a really um, a classic games like Sonic the Hedgehog and things like that and often and some maybe mobile developed games where you see the item spinning that you can pick it up so really to get this all I've done is I created a quick torus shape in 3ds max and I just put a gold material on it with a bit of specular. Now, in 3ds Max, the actual coordinates are different in Unity. Unit is X across, Y up, and Z in the other direction. Whereas 3ds Max has X going up, Y going across, and it's just slightly different. So you'll notice it slightly differently when I show you this. But on the cube which was created in Unity, you'll see that it's correct on that. But first of all, what we're going to do is going to create a script and we're going to call this object spin and when we open a monop develop and what we're going to do is we're going to delete the start function and we're just going to have the update function and we're going to create three variables we're going to call it spin x as the integer equals zero and we're going to copy this line and we're going to create oh, two more variables and call it spin y and spin z in our update function we're going to type trans transform lowercase rotate with an uppercase open up brackets we're going to write spin x spin y and spin z we're going to close that off and we're going to save that script out and, and when we're back in unity we're going to actually select our objects that we want we're going to add the object spin there and the object spin here and what we're going to do on this box want it just to spin round on this axis so on its y axis so if we change the y to 5 on there when we play the game we'll see that it spins round by itself and then if we click on the ring we're going to want to do the same thing we're going to want to spin it round on the Y. But you see it does something slightly different because the coordinates were different in max. So if you set that to 0 and you set the X to 5, you'll notice that it spins round correctly. While you're in the actual game, you can increase these amounts accordingly. So if you change that whilst you're in game, you can see it picks up speed. And accordingly, if you reduce that, so that's pretty much it and that's a really easy script to actually spin objects in unity so if you like the tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers